Okay, hey guys, um, this time I'm gonna do a ghetto speed feed show. Um, I made two, last night, made two. Um, the first one I tried to make is this one. I tried to make it out of a tennis ball lid, because I saw somebody on YouTube said, oh yeah, tennis ball is the best way to do it. What can I say about the tennis ball lid ghetto feed? All I can say is don't do it, because if you can see, that's how thick the plastic is. And it's thick, which means that these fingers are not, sorry, are not pliable. Like, they're pliable with my hand pushing it, but like, I mean, if I took a paintball here, I mean, it is not going to push through it at all. You guys are looking at the bottom, just so you know, because it kind of looks like, but like, See, now it looks like it went through, but that's the issue with this one. See, these top parts here, see how much bigger it is than the paintball itself? So, not only does this one not feed, I mean it only feeds through these holes, also it spills a ton of paint. Like, if I took my loader and I turned it upside down, 90% uh, of the paint is going to come out of these holes. I mean. It's just, it goes right through, as you can see, like, if I drop it, it goes right through. So, don't do the tennis ball speed feed. What I do suggest, though, is doing one of these. This is made out of a Pringles lid, and I gotta say, it works tremendously well, because, I mean, first off, the paintballs don't go through too easy, to where you know that they're gonna come out again, but they go through easy enough to where you don't have to worry about it like that. Let me demonstrate. Pot of paint. Okay. Probably the worst load of it I've ever done. Um, let me do it again for you. Okay, this is how you do it. See? Okay, and um, when all the paint is in there, None of the paint comes out, ever. Um, so let me just, uh... Yeah. Um, definitely recommend doing a Pringles lid if you don't feel like spending seven to $27 on a speed peak.